um, I appreciate that I am very, very fortunate to have this as my closet or my walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> back to my channel. Um, today I am going to finally, finally film the much requested uh, closet tour. This I suppose it's my dream closet tour, uh, walk-in wardrobe, dressing room, whichever way you um, refer to it. This video has been so so requested. Um, one of my friends on Instagram, Persitopia, has been waiting impatiently for this video and sent me many a reminder saying get a move on we want to see the closet so we're going to see the closet and um, I'm going to take you around it show you everything that's in it um, and I hope it was worth the wait just a little bit of background before we do that and um, when we moved to this house in our previous house which was a lot smaller I had a small dressing room which I absolutely adored so then when we came here, there was a spare bedroom that we didn't need that was oddly shaped and we, we didn't need it as a bedroom and uh, talked to my husband and agreed that we could make it into a walk-in wardrobe, a dressing room or a, a closet um, and it is, it is my dream closet. Um, it's my, definitely my dream closet. I never imagined in a million years um, growing up or before we moved here that I would have a closet like this. Um, we have been in this house about six years. We've been slowly moving round room by room and renovating rooms and getting it the way that we wanted it to be. And because this room was oddly shaped and because we had been working towards um, getting the dream closet, I suppose, we brought a company in who designed this um, walk-in closet for us. Um, it was probably based on the, in the Sex and City movie, the second movie, Carrie's side of the closet was probably, if I'm honest, what was in my head whenever I was trying to talk to them and describe what it was that I wanted it to be like. And I have to say the company were fantastic um, whenever I was explaining to them the, the look that I wanted to go for and the type of closet I wanted to go for. They got it exactly as I wanted it to be and I absolutely adore it. I don't love it any less now than I did five years ago when it was first put in. Um, it is. It was custom made to fit this room. Um, everything was um, hand built and fit into this room and it was hand painted. It was due to get a touch up of the painting in April of 2020 because obviously there's there's makeup and there's children and there's bits of wear um, and that's the beauty of hand painting. It can be topped up but obviously with everything that happened and the lockdown that wasn't possible so it still needs to be touched up. I was hoping whenever this video got requested that that could have been done to show you it really whenever it's it's looking a bit less tired but given that we've just went into another lockdown, I don't know when that's going to be. So I, I think Persitopia is going to uh, come for me if I don't get this video done. And if I wait any longer, she's not taking any more excuses. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I will do my best to give you a proper tour. Okay, so this is the door into the closet or the dressing room and yeah that is the view when you open the door now before we get into this I appreciate that I am very fortunate that it's a very big closet um I know that but you guys have asked to see it so I am just going to show it to you so this is my closet um <laughs> welcome I am so glad to finally be able to show you all what is in this full, full room um, I appreciate that it is rather large and um, I appreciate that I am very very fortunate to have this as my closet or my walk-in wardrobe and um, it certainly is my dream closet uh, yeah so I, I just want to say that I do appreciate that before we go in to it but I am so glad to be able to finally show you it I know you guys have been asking for this for such a long time and um, I hope you enjoy this little tour I'm going to take you around the all of the little well most of the little nooks and, and crannies and show you what's in everything and how I have it laid out. Um, and I hope you enjoy this tour. So let's get stuck in. So this is um, this little part down here that you will have seen in some of my photographs and videos before. This used to be um, a full bathroom. So if you can see where that comes down, that used to be an actual proper door and this was a full ensuite. We decided that we didn't need another full bathroom um, off the 
closet certainly so we took it down i will show you um if you come down to the mirror here and then through this little door this is actually quite awkward there is a little small bathroom um that is just off the dressing room so it's literally just a sink and toilet and that is in behind this door and then when you step back this gives us a full length mirror now because i'm just in the house doing this today i'm working from home i'm certainly not dressed up or anything but um that gives a full length mirror down there and then we have the radiator so that gave these extra full length wardrobes whenever we were doing the design of this so it's quite narrow in here if i just try and show you i've just kicked behind me some of the <sighs> paintings that are waiting to up on the wall so if i just try and show you in this part really without the um tripod because it's really quite narrow to set it up and this is the first full length wardrobe um down at, beside the bathroom when you open all of these drawers uh or all of these wardrobes and the shelving units the lights will turn on um which i know is a luxury but is actually really really nice and it does really brighten it up especially in this part where if the bathroom doors open you get a lot more light but without it it can be really quite um dark so i just have at the top some storage boxes which have um dust bags and some of them have bikinis and stuff in it just to keep them out of the way and then in this wardrobe i have my sort of blazers and shorter jackets there are some work blazers in there as well and um, i keep them in there and then down at the bottom i have my work shoes and um, my work wardrobe i think i've said this before is corporate dress really so those are my work shoes which i keep in there with my blazers and my jackets and that just keeps them out of the way we move on to the one beside it and again um, when i open this yeah it'll light up now this whenever we first planned this my husband mm -hmm, he was all oh no i'll just put the shoot my shoes at the bottom of my wardrobe i won't need anywhere for my shoes uh-huh so those little shells that you what do you see there his shoes those little shelves were meant to be more shelves for me um but he has gradually just taken them over and put his shoes in them and that is really where i keep my longer coats um because we are in winter at the minute there's quite you'll see empty hangers there's quite a few of them hanging downstairs um because it's absolutely freezing and i'm having to wear most of those so that is where the long coats are and then if we get out of this little um narrow more narrow corridor it'll be a lot easier to show you a proper tour and what's in everything whenever we get into this main part of the room so these wardrobes here at this side um i these are my husband's so this is where his stuff is in these wardrobe down there at the corner with the double mirrors which is quite handy as well whenever you're getting ready so they have his stuff in there and then he also has these ones um which i won't bore you with and then there are little trimmings um of myrrh on the corners of them which is really quite nice um and then if i just spin you around if i just spin you around the back the wall view this is what would be looking at you when you come in through the door so we just have a little seating area there which is really handy for whenever you're getting ready so there's just that little rug and this the sofa um and the extra lamp and then this over here i absolutely love this radiator uh, radiator hello this radio this is a robert's old-fashioned radio but you can um put your uh spotify or anything through it and then i just have the books that i'm reading at the minute on the table and this is just a nice little area for one for getting ready but also you'll see if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i sometimes put pictures on saying like I'm just in here to breathe for a minute and that's basically where I sit because if you sit there you're looking directly at the handbags um, which we will get to and I know a lot of you are dying to see and then my side of the wardrobes is this side this bigger side along with the little area that I showed you um, down in the corridor so if we start from here I suppose and I will show you um what's in all of these and how they are laid out it's like this that i actually wish i had someone to help me film because this is quite hard to show you properly 
Um, so if we start in the corner, um, and I'll probably then just spin you around and let you see what's actually in here. Um, otherwise, I don't really think you're gonna probably be able to see. But this one um, in the corner beside the sofa is where I have my long, um, yeah, I'll spin you around. This is where I have my long hanging. And as you can see, when you open this one as well, the light turns on on the inside. So we can see at the top there, um, I just have shorts, which I don't need at the minute because we're in the middle of winter. And then that is all of my long hanging in that corner. And that just, if we step back, you can see that that's just beside the sofa. Then if we move to the double doors that are just beside it, um, if you watched my organized video, <laughs> there's the Chanel Tetris boxes at the top. And then this is my hanging. So it is dresses from the left-hand side across and then into skirts and then at the right hand corner there there are work skirts just in the corner and then that little pile down below it is stuff that needs to be taken to be altered and i know you'll you'll watch a lot of videos where people will say don't buy clothes anymore that need to be altered but when you're five foot one i don't really have much choice and then these drawers that are underneath um the top two both have just underwear in them so i won't uh bother you with that and then this one is just really like sports clothes and dog walking clothes really to be honest and then when we close the doors the lights will close and then that takes us to these middle ones at the in the center and they were um the people that designed the closet had suggested if you see that step out which i actually really really like so they suggested that this piece in the middle just sit out a little bit from the rest to give it more of a feature um, and then it has the you can see at the bottom it has kind of like the proper skirting and everything and this um, I don't even know what you would call this but these side molded panels and then the coving at the top is the whole way around um, I personally really like the look of it I think it just makes it look that little bit more um, finished and pleasing and i think whenever you've paid to get somebody to design it rather than um the ikea units which people can make fabulous closets out of i'm just not really that handy i think it's nice to have that um that extra look so in here these middle ones are and again the lights will come on so we put a little corner in the side of it for the iron and the ironing board to keep it out of the way and down at the bottom there is a little pink step that I share with my son and that step is because I can't reach the higher bits and it's for him to brush his teeth and things like that. Um, on the top ones I have all of my knitwear and my jumpers hanging on the top reel and then on the um, reel down below is all of my tops and Kind of dressier tops that's something that i need to invest in i actually genuinely really do need more of that and catching myself in the mirror when i'm talking to you guys on this one and i appreciate that i'm not exactly dressed the best but all those pounds that went on over christmas to the weight i am already trying to lose haven't helped um and i'm really gonna have to really try and get stuck into that in the new year to get the rest of this weight off um because a lot of my clothes I still don't feel comfortable in and a lot of clothes I still don't really feel comfortable shopping for because I just I don't feel like I'm at my normal size and it's I'm just not really comfortable with it so anyway um not the point of today's video and then if we go to the cupboards that are beside this is beside this area and these are my knee-high boots at the top now I know whenever I did the organize video um one of you guys really rightfully pointed out you really shouldn't have those boots folded over like that and I know that um it's not great for them it will crease them they should have those plastic stand up things but I don't I can't figure out anywhere in here um to keep them I do have a room upstairs I could put them in but I'm really bad for if I can't see something when I'm getting ready that I'll forget about it um so that's I'm still working on somewhere to put them um, on the left side here we have play suits for the summer which again I don't need and then this is all my trousers and jeans in here which is very handy to have them all in one place 
and then these are have again the drawers down below now the left hand one has socks and tights in it which is really very boring this just has um basic t-shirts in it and the bottom one has pajamas and nightwear and things like that which is not very interesting then in here i have oh more shoes so at the top their box is not open um and then i just have shoes in here the whole way down and boots and it has the light as well on the inside and that's the whole way down in here which is very very handy and as i said i should have had the shelves in that little um cupboard in there as well but my husband stole those so that's the overall look and then I'm going to try and make that tripod work again so as I can talk to you guys and show you the desk area and where the bags are. So we're getting hit with the light again um, if I put you on the tripod to show you the rest. So I'm going to um, spin you around and try and show you this other area without the light coming through the window completely and utterly blinding everyone. So if we work from the view here which was the sofa as you come in. This is my dressing table and I know I am very, very blessed. So up the side of this little panel, I have some of my dressier shoes. So I have my wedding shoes up there on the left, those Louboutins. And then these are all really going out shoes and dressier shoes. And you can see that there are lights down the side of those. And without trying to blind you, there are mirrors in the back of them which throws the light back in and helps to just make this a little bit bigger. And then if I show you a step back view, this is my dressing table. Um, and uh, just, you will see, there is my beloved niece mini and everything on it. There's everything around me that I need to get ready. I also like to have um, little personal things around me. Um, it just, I don't know, I'm very sentimental. We've talked about this before. And there are still some, you'll see some um, art sitting about that needs to go up that we just haven't got to Ikea for, given the current world order. Top drawer, I have in here all of my hair, um, hair dryer and straighteners and everything. And it just, the plug box is in the drawer there and it really just keeps it tidier and keeps the wires and everything away. Um, so I absolutely love that just for keeping tidiness. And then in this drawer, oh, look at all those receipts over there. <laughs> so you can see all the receipts from um, my purchases. And then I have my some eyeshadow palettes. I have spare mascara, spare makeup, spare hair oil, contact lenses and everything in this drawer. And then in the bottom one, it's really just spare um, spare hair products. I'm dying to get the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm pretty useless with hair, but I would really like to try it and um, to try and be able to do a little bit more. And then this is my chair where I sit and get ready. So if I pull it out, this drawer here has most of my jewelry. So if we take a look at it, um, there are my Chanel brooches, my watches, my bangles, my pearls, some of my earrings, and then some of my necklaces there at the back. And that is, um, there's like a felt lining on underneath that. So as, um, it's safe for everything to sit. I do have some jewelry, I don't wanna blind everyone, but I have some pieces that hang around the mirror as well for um, when I'm getting ready. There's my beloved trolls that you see in some of my videos and my little niece Nano, which makes me smile. Top drawer, okay, so in here, um, we have a little bit of everything. So I have some extra SLGs. Um, I have rollers in here because I have two dogs. That really is necessary. Uh, tape measures, scissors, there's SLGs. Um, <laughs> this is not a dead thing in here by the way this I used to have um I used to have hair extensions in but I when I was pregnant with my second son I suffer from migraines and you're not allowed to take migraine medication when you're pregnant and I made my husband cut them out um I was in the middle of migraine couldn't take tablets couldn't cope with the pain and made him literally take the scissors and cut them out of my hair not advised don't do that yeah, don't do that. Okay, so the second one down, I have my 
probably my dressier scarves so we have Louis Vuitton Chanel a few Louis Vuitton there's the new acne one I got at Christmas the Ted Baker um, faux fur and then there's a new hat which I love my brother got me for Christmas so they all stay in this one and then the bottom drawer is a bit of a junk drawer it well it's not really junk it has a lot of um like little clothing pieces and stuff from my sons that I'm sentimental about and won't <laughs> won't let my husband throw out so I hide them in the bottom drawer and then on this side we have at the bottom here we have my perfume tray with all of my perfumes that's a Chanel Matriart um book spare matches spare perfumes oh I forgot about the drawer at the other side um in the drawer in here if we just move the little trolls out of the way I have spare perfumes um a little Samorga spare nail polish and things like that in there and if I just very quickly show you what is in oh that lovely Dior box it's so pretty in this one is spare little clutches and spare makeup bags in this little drawer that tucks in nicely under the shoes but back across we go so we have we're at the perfumes you can see the perfumes that I use mostly there and my beloved Jo Malone, which I love. Um, and then I have more shoes up here. And there is a Lulu Guinness um, lips clutch at the back. You can see behind those shoes. And then there's shoes up at the top. And then my dad's teddy bear is actually on the very top one. And then if we move across to here, which is probably everyone's favorite part. Well, for us guys anyway, favorite part of the room and down we go into the handbag cupboard now doesn't she just make you happy i'm going to see if i can get this back on to the um tripod to try and show you this properly actually probably not going to show you all of it um so if you watch me before this is where i film my videos mainly now i will sit in here with the doors open in front of all these beauties and I will just be happy in my life. So at the top we have wedges which are at the very top because I don't need them at the minute. Um, we are in winter and you certainly don't need these here in the winter. These um, shelves are all lit up as well so they shine down as many the Teddy Blake the Chanel classic flap. And then we step down to the next shelf with the 19, the mini, the Nano Speedy and the Gabrielle, which I adore. And then you can just, as you work down, I have books and stuff under some of them because I really, as much as these are also bags, I just love this part of my dressing room. It's it's so decorative. This is behind me and I will show you, but this is where the sofa looks at. And I will literally sit on that sofa and look in here and just breathe. Um. I have trainers at the bottom. I suppose that seems a bit of a juxtaposition because this is so nice and fancy. But to be honest, it's just because it's what I use the most, um, just given how life is at the minute. And then in this bottom drawer, down at the bottom, we have some spare summer um, flip-flops and summer shoes that I definitely don't need at the minute. So if I go back to, I am now on the sofa. So if I sit on the sofa, this is the view and I will come in here, open those doors and just breathe. Just take a minute. I will try and hide from my children as much as I adore them and just, uh, yeah, just breathe. And that's what you see when they're closed. This is the view if you keep them closed. But my husband will come in here quite often and be like, why are those doors hanging open? Well, they're hanging open so as I don't have that white bit down the middle whenever I want to look at them. So when I'm in here, these doors are generally open just so as I can see the pretty things. And then that's, oh, as I bang it across the desk, that's not so good. If you just across from there is where the sofa is. So it's really, this is like a wee sitting part of this room and I absolutely really, really love it. We all know I am a crazy bag lady. So this was my dream closet tour. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for asking for this video and for being interested. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing around this room. 
Um, again, I appreciate that it's that it's on the larger side and that we're very, very blessed and we're very grateful to have it. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Take care and I will see you in the next one.